click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous lecture we have got to know about how uh, the ether has been formed with the help of the uh, alkyl hydride that is Williams synthesis and now we are going to talk about what is the uh, reaction of the alkyl hydride with that of uh, that is sodium salt of uh, carboxylic acid. So now let us talk about that. So it has been found that whenever an alkyl halide is been treated with sodium salt of carboxylic acid, it is uh, the thing that is the ester has been produced. So let us understand the general reaction of it first and then we are going to talk about the next question with the help of an example. So talking about uh, that is a uh, reaction of alkyl halide with that of silver salt of uh, that is uh, carboxylic acid. That is whenever we react that is alkyl halide that is Rx with that is silver salt of carboxylic acid and this carboxylic acid is basically nothing but it can be uh, a fatty acid also so sodium salt of uh, fatty acid or that is silver salt of fatty acid suppose if we are talking in that manner but the solvent that we are using in this reaction is basically ethanol so therefore we could say that uh, the silver salt of uh, carboxylic acid is been dissolved in an ethanolic solution so as to obtain an ester so this happens in this way where basically suppose if we are talking about that is the carboxylic acid it is represented by rc double bond o o h but since we are talking about the silver salt of carboxylic acid so this is what we have over here and this happens in an ethanolic solution so therefore c2 h5 oh will be the solvent that would be used over here and the thing is again a substitution reaction that would take place over here where one of the x of the alkyl head that would be Created with that of the Ag, that is silver atom, and the thing that we could obtain over here is as a byproduct is AgX. And the product that we could uh, mainly we would obtain is basically R C double bond O O, and this is R. Basically, it is known as ester. Again, the thing is, even this R and this R dash, the both can be same also, and the both can be different also. But the thing is the ester will be obtained. So this is how we will get an ester. So therefore this is the general reaction that we have mentioned over here and now let us understand uh, the example of this one. So talking about the example, that is suppose if we have considered the most simplest halide that we have used in our previous lectures also so as to um, understand the example of this one. Suppose uh, if you are considering that is uh, CH3Br as a methyl uh, bromide and if you are treating it with that of that is CH3 C double bond O O A G. So therefore, this is basically known as silver salt of acetic acid. So whenever this reaction happens, it happens uh, in a solution which is basically ethanol. So that is C two H five O H, and we have to heat it. So that is the reason that we are that is bromine atom along with that of the silver uh, atom that would be uh, they will undergo substitution reaction in such a manner that is the uh, A G B R will be produced as a byproduct. Uh, the main product that we could get over here is basically this is the uh, main uh, that is ester group that we have that is CH3 C double bond O O and this is the alkyl group that we have and that we mentioned it over here as CH3. So this is the ester that we have over here and basically we call it as uh, methyl acetate so as in uh, common name but uh, talking about uh, that is uh, the IUPAC name so the name uh, According to the IPC name, it would be basically methyl, and the total number of carbon in this basically in this uh, uh, carboxylate uh, group is basically two. So therefore, making this to be called as methyl ethanoid. So this is the product that we have over here, and uh, that is an example related to the uh, general reaction that we have. And now let us move on to the next one. That is, uh, let me explain that also. Suppose if we uh, consider uh, a particular uh, alkyl halide like that is. Uh, ethyl chloride suppose that is C2H5Cl and suppose if we are reacting it with sodium salt of uh, that is uh, propanoic acid or so that would be given as CH3 CH2 C double bond O O and suppose here it is the silver salt so this is the silver salt that we have over here that is silver salt of uh, propanoic acid and uh, the thing is the reaction will happen again as I have said earlier also that is it will uh, have a, the reaction under ethanolic solution such that this Ag atom along with that of Cl that will be moved out as AgCl and the rest of the thing that would remain is basically this uh, carboxylate ion that we have and that is basically CH3, CH2, 
C double bond 4, 4. And the alkyl group that is C2H5. So the product that we could get is basically uh, according to the IPC name we could give it the name as because this is the methyl group that has been uh, uh, substituted uh, the silver atom over here and that's the reason that we could name it as ethyl methane ethane propane propanoid so this is what we have and that's it that is what I want to talk about but uh, let me talk about uh, more thing also that is uh, in this case basically uh, the silver as we know that is it is partially positive charge and uh, that is the acetate is basically partially negative charge so that's for this acetate they act like a nucleophile and uh, that's the reason that uh, a substitution happens in this manner that is a nucleophilic substitution that happens in this manner and this is what we have and uh, the rest of the product that uh, either it could be precipitated out and we could get or we could obtain that is the S2 so thank you friends for watching this video I hope you have understood this video very clearly with the help of this example you are uh, able to do now the, the later question that they would ask me so I hope you'll share this video with your friends and yes, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much.